There's a valley in Spain called Harama It's a place that we all know so well It was there that we fought against the fascists We saw a peaceful valley turn to hell From this valley they say we are going But don't hasten to bid us adieu Even though we lost the battle at Harama We'll set this valley free for we're through We were men of the Lincoln Battalion We're proud of the fight that we made We know that you people of the valley Will remember our Lincoln Brigade this valley they say we are going but don't hasten to bid us adieu even though we lost that battle at Harama we will set this valley free for we're through you will never find peace with these fascists you will never find friends such as we so remember that valley of Harama and the people that'll set that valley free. From this valley they say that we're going. Don't hasten to bid us adieu. Even though we lost the battle at Harama, we'll set this valley free for we're through. All this world is like this valley called Arama So green and so bright and so fair No fascists can dwell in our valley Nor breathe in our new freedom's air From this valley they say that we're going Do not hasten to bid us adieu Even though we lost the battle at Arama We'll set this valley free for we're through. I'm not going to just sit down and let this happen. I'm going out and help, even if it is my life. But I'm helping. This is my world, too. And I'm not going to sit down and just let people do what they want to do when it's wrong. And I'm a nurse. Look at all those soldiers and all those people being hurt. Look at all the people even in Spain, young children not being bombed, taken care of and all that. Women, men, everybody. And I was doing crisis duty. And then when I was accepted and I was in the pipeline, so to speak, then it hit me the enormity of what I was doing. Uh, and then I had to uh, accommodate myself to the idea and my, my mother to the idea, for instance. And how the hell do you explain this stuff to your mother that you're going off to possibly get killed or stuff like that? Very difficult thing. I found it very odd. But I convinced her that I was going over there to work in a factory. So I decided to best to just say, look, I'm getting on a ship and it's going to Europe. Now, sometimes we go to the ports, you don't hear from me for months and months and months. Sometimes it's out of the way place, they don't have mailboxes or mail carriers or stuff like that. So don't worry if you don't hear from me for a long time. I sent home letters telling her what great work I was doing in the factory and so forth, and turning out all these goods for the front. Until one day I got a letter from my sister that a uh, picture of me and Hemingway had appeared in the Jewish Daily Forwards in the Rotocrevier section. Milton Wolf, uh, captain in the Abraham Lincoln Battalion, blew my cover completely.